Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about transformer size calculation. This is part 2 video. I will recommend you to watch first the part 1 video because in part 1 video of transformer size calculation, I explain the all related concept which require to size the transformer. The part 1 video was the conceptual video and in this video, we will take an example and based on the example, we will try to size the transformer. Here I took one SLD and from that SLD, this is the MDB panel. You can see that MDB1. The total connected load on this MDB is 1080.3 kilowatt. The standby load connected with this MDB is 28 kilowatt and the actual connected load is total connected load minus standby load that is 1052.3 kilowatt this I tabulated here the total connected load in kilowatt is 1080.3 kilowatt standby load is 28 kilowatt and the actual connected load is total connected load minus standby load that is 1052.3 kilowatt the diversity factor is given as 0 0.85 meaning the overall diversity factor of the loads which is connected with this MDB has the diversity factor 0.85. As I told you, you will understand this video more conceptually when you already watched my previous video. If you didn't watch my part 1 video on the transformer sizing, then please watch that one then come to this video otherwise you will have some doubts. Now the diversity factor is 0.85. So the maximum load or the load which is running on this LV panel will be actual connected load into the diversity factor which I mention here. The diversity factor is 0.85. So the diversified load or the maximum load on this LV panel at a time is equal to diversity factor into actual connected load. So it will be 0, uh, 1052.3 into 0 0.85 then it will come as 894.455 kilowatt so this is the diversified load or the maximum load which will occur on this panel at a time i hope you understood till here now i want to calculate this diversity file load not in kilowatt but in kva so what is the formula kilowatt is equal to kva into power factor this you know so the kva value will be kilowatt divided by power factor so our diversified load in kva become as 1118.06875 kva now the diversified load in kva came as 1118 kva Suppose if we will select the same size of transformer then we cannot add in future any of the load as the KVA rating of the transformer is exactly same as the total load on the transformer. But as in my previous video I told that transformer is a one time investment. We cannot change the transformer frequently. So we have to always consider the future margin in the connected network so even if some load increased in the transformer in future that can be tackled by the same transformer so I took here and generally it is taken that 10% to 15% as a future margin on selecting of any transformer so I took the future margin as 10% so the 10% of the diversified load is 111.8 kilo kva now, as we know that the transformer is not always the 100% efficient, there will be always some losses in the transformer. So that losses is also a load on the transformer as if the transformer, if we will select of same rating and the load is also same, then due to the losses in the transformer, the transformer cannot process the same load which the transformer rating have because transformer always have the losses in itself so we have to always consider the losses 
margin also while selecting the proper size of the transformer so here i selected the transformer losses is 5% so the 5% of the diversity diversified load is 55.9 kilo kva okay now so what is the actual load on the transformer by considering the future margin and the loss margin this will be diversified load in kva plus the future margin plus the losses occur in the transformer so it will be 1118 plus 111.8 and 59 55.9 so the actual connect actual load on the transformer after the future margin and the losses on the transformer is 1285.8 kva suppose if we will select a transformer of same size 1285.8 kva then to process this load transformer has to run with full 100% of its capacity all time which is not good for the electrical equipment it is recommended that the electrical equipment should not run all the time with its 100% of its capacity so what we have to do in order to process this load we need to select the transformer which is having the higher value of this as when the transformer will process this load it will not be 100% loaded I consider that my transformer when it is processing this load will be loaded only 85% it means with this load the transformer is running with its 85% of its capacity in order to make the transformer run at its 85% of its capacity we have to multiply the actual load with 1.15 as the 15% is spare after considering that the transformer running at 85% of its related capacity so I will multiply this one with 1.15 so I will get it the transformer rating after considering future margin loss margin and the operation margin as 14.1478.6 kva now transformers are coming in the standard size so we have to select from the selection chart of the transformer which one is bigger than your calculated kva rating of the transformer so the next transformer available in the standard size is 15 kva so our selected transformer for this mdb is 1500 kva but wait we are not done here we calculated the transformer size for this mdb but we have to do the adequacy check that this transformer is fulfilling the two requirements or not the first one is at the time of the largest motor starting which is connected with this LV panel the overloading on the transformer is under the allowable limit or not and the second thing at the time of starting the largest motor connecting with this MDB creating the voltage dip under the allowable limit or not if we satisfy if our calculated transformer rating satisfies satisfies this two criteria that is the overloading at the time of starting of the largest motor connected with this LV panel and the voltage drop at the time of starting of the largest motor connected with this LV panel under the allowable limit then we can say that this transformer rating which we calculated is correct otherwise we have to go for the higher size of the transformer so in this video I will try to cover the first adequacy check that is the overloading of the transformer when the largest motor started and all other loads are running the largest motor connected with that SMD that MDB is 150 kilowatt as we know well that all the induction motors at the time of starting drawing very high amount of current which is three to four times of the full load current sometimes six to seven times also let me give you one example to better understand it suppose there is one motor of 10 kilowatt okay and it is drawing a current of 18 ampere at full load condition but the same motor at the time of starting taking a current of 80 ampere as a starting current this is temporary but at the time of starting this 10 kilowatt motor drawing a current of 
80 ampere now let us take another motor of 60 kilowatt and the full load current of this motor is 80 ampere so what we can say that the smaller motor which having a rating of 10 kilowatt at the time of starting acting as a bigger size motor of 60 kilowatt as the 60 kilowatt motor having a full load current rating as 80 ampere and this 10 kilowatt motor is drawing the current of 80 ampere which is same as the motor which having a rating of 60 kilowatt so we can say that at the time of starting the 10 kilowatt of motor is acting like a 60 kilowatt of motor of course this current is temporary for 4 5 seconds only but this is the conclusion that the smaller motor of 10 kilowatt at the time of starting is acting like a 60 kilowatt of motor this is just an example the numeric value may change but for just a concept i gave you this idea so this 150 kilowatt of motor at the time of starting will not act as a 150 kilowatt of motor it will act something bigger than this right so that we need to calculate that at the time of starting this 150 kilowatt of motor is acting at which rating of motor for that we need to calculate the starting current of the motor starting current of the motor is equal to rating of the motor that is 150 kilowatt divided by root 3 into v into power factor starting as the current is starting so the power factor will be starting at the time of starting the induction motor required more reactive currents that's why the power factor is very less if you want to know how the power factor get very low at the time of starting of the induction motor then comment me in the comment box i will make separate video on that but for time being just you understand that at the time of starting of the induction motor induction motor require more reactive power and due to this more reactive power requirement the power factor at the time of starting will become very low so here i consider the power factor at the time of starting of the motor is 0.25 but in running condition it is 0.8 but as i am calculating the starting current of the motor so the power factor i consider at the time of starting 0.25 so I will calculate here the rating of the motor is 1500 uh, sorry uh, 1, 150 into 1000 watt divided by root 3 into 3 phase voltage that is 415 into starting power factor that is equal to 0 0.25 when we will calculate then the current starting current of the motor came as 864 ampere so I will calculate now what size of motor will draw this amount of current for that i will write the starting kva of the motor you can relate with this explanation so starting at the time of starting the motor rating will look like as root 3 into v into starting current so the starting kva rating of the motor came as 621 kva actually the motor rating is 150 kilowatt but at the time of starting you can see the difference that is from 150 kilowatt to 621 kva in order to relate better i will convert this kilowatt rating of the motor into the kva rating of the motor so it will be 150 divided by 0 0.8 so the 187.5 kva motor will act as a 621 kva motor at the time of starting hope you can got this concept now as we know the starting kva of the motor after calculating the starting kva of the motor we have to calculate the base load which is equal to the actual connected load minus largest motor rating as we see here the actual load is this much 1052.3 kilowatt but we need to subtract the maximum connected load with this mdb that is 150 kilowatt so this will come as a base load so same thing i did here the base load is actual connected load minus largest motor rating so it came as 902 kilowatt when we will convert into the kva then it came as 721.6 kva this is the base load without the motor without the largest motor okay now actual base load before starting the motor this is the base load but we need to calculate the actual base load again we have to follow the same procedure that is we have to take the future margin losses of the transformer everything so here i took 
on the base load that is 721.6 into future margin loss margin and loading margin here i consider the future margin loss margin and loading margin same as before that is future margin 10% loss margin 5% and the loading margin 15% meaning the transformer will be loaded 85% of its rated capacity so the loading margin will be 15% so here i mention future margin 0.1 load uh, loss margin 0.05 that is 5% and the loading margin is 15% that is 0.15 so our actual base load without largest motor is this much 938 kva okay now as we calculated in our previous step the large starting kva of the motor so what we will do at the transient time when all loads are running this base load is running then the load on the transformer will be 938 right and now we started the largest motor then as we started the largest motor it will show that this much load is started right so i added this one at the transient starting time the total load on the transformer will be the base load and the load of the largest motor at the time of starting which is acting like a 621 kva load so the total load on the transformer will be 1559 kva now i hope you understood to here and there is no any doubt even if you have doubt then please comment in the comment section i will try to clear it in our previous step we calculated we selected a transformer of 1500 kva and after doing the adequacy check for the transformer overloading at the time of starting the largest motor we got the transformer rating as 15 uh, 1559 kva so how much motor will be overloaded when uh, sorry how much the transformer will be overloaded when the base load is running and we started the motor it is 1559 so i will calculate in percentage if our calculated transformer size is 1500 and we started the largest motor then one percent will be the overload on the transformer at the time of starting as 1559 divided by 500 is coming around one percent so when we started the motor largest motor and all other base loads are running then the transformer will face one percent overloading on its rated capacity hope you are clear till here as per the standard till 120 percent of its rated capacity suppose our rated capacity is 1500 kva at the time of starting 120% of the rated capacity that is 1500 if there is a load on the transformer this is normal this is allowable by the standards as we calculated the overloading at the time of starting of the largest motor on transformer is only 1% so it is under allowable limit so we can say that our selected transformer of rating 1500 kva is adequate for overloading condition in my next video i will try to cover the adequacy check for the transformer for voltage drop as if i will cover this topic also in this video the video length will be very big and no one will watch this one so hope you understood this concept and if you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video then you know what you have to do you have to subscribe my channel you have to like this video you have to share with your friend we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much